All right, I'm back looking like me. <laughs> See what some sleep could do? Some of you dudes need some sleep. Y'all doing way too much. Uh, uh, influx of mail today. I'm thinking it's over something real. It's over some BS and Hassan Campbell. Uh, yet again, people. Yet again, I tell you. I don't listen to Hassan Campbell, good people. I understand. I understand how some of y'all get roped in. But see, this is what... This is what a person like him does. He he looks for a situation where he could jump in and make it trend. You see, they talk about these things that they shouldn't be talked about. How many times did I talk about anything talking about FBG Duck? Have you seen me make a video about FBG Duck? Have I ever talked about the beef? With O Block and Duck. Have you ever seen me do that? Have I talked about Dirk? Have I talked about any of that stuff with Vaughn? One that's too real for YouTube. Two that's too real. Period. So you don't get involved in things you don't really know about. So when y'all tried to tell me, oh, Hassan Campbell speaking out about Duck's mom and going in on Duck, I didn't even respond to it. I didn't click on it. I didn't check it out. I didn't say, man, let me go see what homeboy said. I didn't do any of it because I know if it's coming from him, it's coming from a bad, foul-ass place because that's the type of person he is. And he's only doing it for hits and views so he can get some clicks and get your attention. Just like he did with Kwame. He wants that, he wants that back and forth. He wants that so he can get in front of somebody. Now, if he got in front of the mama, you know what he's going to say? I apologize. I'm a big enough man that I'm going to apologize because, see, I was wrong. I should have I should have came at you and I should have had a conversation with you. I was wrong. I apologize. And he wants his squash then because he's face to face with him. Because he got what he wanted out of this whole thing, and that's just to make some money till he get to the next day. Then he goes to something else and get on the next day. And if you don't accept his apology, now here come. Oh, see, I, I apologize like a man, and they didn't accept it. But that's okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my thing. It's a gimmick, people. It's a gimmick. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for these gimmicks. These people are twisted, sick in the head. This is all they know. This is their reality. Their reality is false. It's fake. And they're luring you to the fields with nonsense. Now... I seen the clip you sent me. I don't know who's the actual name of the clip, but it was a clip of Hassan Campbell saying that it was the mother's responsibility. She failed as a mother to raise Duck the right way, and he shouldn't have made that song. That's the only thing that he said that out of it. Duck shouldn't have made the song. Shouldn't have. Nobody should make the song about people that is deceased. I agree with a statement like that. Don't agree with Hassan Campbell. I agree. Duck should have never made a song. Vaughn, none of them shouldn't make any songs about taking lives of people and throwing their names in songs. Because you offend other people way outside of people. You offend invisible people you don't even know. Let the dead rest in peace. That time here on this earth, it's over. It's all over.
you know, and to disrespect someone's child and to the mother and bring that grief to their mom. And like, it's her fault what happened to her son when you can only do so much. You could tell your child, child, do this, do that. It's up to the child. Now, if the child isn't doing what the child's supposed to do, that's not the mother's responsibility. She's done her part. That child is grown. You know, and then you can't blame somebody with things you don't understand. His mom grew up in a poverty stricken area. That was not her fault. She didn't make that area like that. If the conditions around you have been made so that they have taken away jobs, there's no recreation. There's nothing there to influence any type of development for your child. And because you're poor, you can't afford, you're forced to stay in the bubble you are. You can't move that. You become a product of the environment. Your education, her education was probably low or she had a very low paying job. She's doing the best she can, probably a single mom raising a child the very best she can. She probably didn't have the support systems that most parents or somebody have that can help and extend. Imagine where I would have been if I, my mom didn't have any support system around her and it was just me and my mom. She couldn't probably control me. When I'm outside in the streets, I probably would have been a product of the streets too. So a lot of a lot of this has to go on the help you get in the situations that's out there. You just can't go and blame one person and say, see, that's the problem. When it's a systematic thing, Duck isn't the only one out there. Like, Duck is the whole reason. Duck and his mama, that's the whole reason the city of Chicago is all messed up. Because of Duck and Old Block. Do you know it's... How, it's a systematic problem, bro. Same way it is around the world. You think old block and, you know, with Doug's head and everybody else, like them the only two places in, in the city of Chicago that's got problems? It's problems everywhere. Everywhere. It's a problem. It's a systematic problem that's spreading to other areas. Areas that it's not even supposed to be in, it's there. And what creates that? Lack of jobs, lack of knowledge, lack of opportunities. And you have a lack of all those things. This is, this is the results. So rather taking your platform and using it as a chance to educate the people about the pitfalls You use it to bash someone's mother by saying and trying to act as if she was a failure in raising her own child because of what happened and how he got into the street life. When you don't know the conditions, you don't know the situations, you don't even know the city. It's very disrespectful, sir. Very disrespectful. And on another note, I just wanted to point some things out to the good people um, who might be watching this, you know. I believe he has a child yourself, don't you, Hassan? Um, and your child decided to be out there doing what your child is doing and you disown your child and your child's got breast implants right allegedly we don't know if that's your child or not or you know i don't have anything biological to prove that that's your child except for you actually telling the public that yourself that that is your child doing these things on social media so my thing is maybe you should worry about getting your house in order you know what I'm saying? Before you start talking about somebody's a bad mom or failed as a parent, maybe you fail. You know, I'm just saying.
People got to think about, you know, some of the things that they're doing and saying. Now, with that already being stated and said, we move along. And while moving along, it's about the new age of social media. And in this new age of social media, it has become a circus of people gawking for people's attention. Now, you've seen other people on YouTube, such as this Campbell guy and others, be allowed to say anything that they want, be controversial, and have all these things in there. But you see that YouTube never really punishes them for their actions. Right? Right? You don't see anybody going after them, shutting them down. And why do you think that is? I'm going to tell you why that is. Because these guys are part of the system. These people make money when they do that. You see, when you go against the grain, the go along, get along gang, that's when they come bite your hand off. When you go against that group, when you're not playing ball and you ain't paying them, then they got to come sabotage you and try to say, well, look what happened to your page. Well, you used to do this, but now you're going to do this because you didn't play ball. We gave you a chance and you ain't want to take it. So this is what's happening now. Now, these are become problems for a millennial. You know, you got a millennium worth of problems <laughs> transpiring in this industry. But in this whole business period. And when you talk about the filth, they don't want that. They want you to just talk about subject matters that matter to them. But Vlad can say what he wants. Right? They let Adam, what's his name? Adam, whatever his name is, they let him talk. Say what he want to say. Skateboard kid, right? He can do whatever he wants. Perez, Hilton, right? This dude can say any outrageous lie in the world. They know it's a lie and it don't matter. It's all good. You ever ask yourself, why is it all good? Why is it all good? Think about that. Why is that all good? See, I'd rather have this video be a teachable moment. And thanks for everybody who hit my cash app up. Carcino is the name on the cash app. In case you didn't hit the super chat button already, I appreciate it. It's weird to everybody who super chats to my video are not getting notifications. Weird. Coincidence or deliberate?
Well, you got to understand that some of the people that go in the factions that they do and the propaganda and all the nonsense that they carry, this is all they know. Like society has told them this is the way you need to be. Don't be any other way than the way you are. And this is how you make money. So whenever you got somebody telling you how to make content, rather than you making content for yourself, then you'll understand. People have come a long way when it comes to growth and education. And a lot of people are waking up. But it's some people that's stuck in the foolishness. Like people just attracted to drama. Like they can't listen to something. They can't watch something unless there's drama involved. If there's drama involved, okay, I could check it out now. If there's no drama involved, they're not as interested. If you, I remember writing something and somebody's like, can you just make a video on it? You wrote it out. It was on the Patreon. So they was like, can you just go in and write that down? I said, wow, write it down? Like, you can't take 10 seconds just to read. It's only like less than a two minute read. It's too many words. It just look long. Like, if you read it, it go it'd be done in seconds. So. Well, that's that. You know, it's, I, Hassan Campbell needs to grow up. You know, that's just how I see it. He needs to grow up. And when you have people that's always constantly in your ear, telling you what's what, and they don't know anything themselves, they become glass houses. <laughs> Telling you how they feel, but they ain't doing nothing. They always the ones that's telling you, but then their life is a mess. Or they won't show you their life. There's people up there, show your life. Why don't you talk about your life? Everybody who follow me already know about my life. <laughs> they see me every day. I go live damn near every day. They talk to me, they see me, they know my mom, they know where my mom lives. They know everything about me because they've been here for years. They watch the journey. They know the sacrifice. They know why I be kicking it. So it's like you just came along and you want to know something just to be talking. Hassan Campbell, he does this because it makes money. This is somebody who's doing it just for some money. That's what we are now as a society, as everything else. It's about money. And if it's not about money, then they don't care. Well, I remember there was a time where they would say, if you had no experience on the situation, you should probably shut your mouth. You 
You know, shutting your mouth is a good, that's a good answer. It's a good answer in the situation. Shutting your mouth. But shut mouths don't get fed. So that's why you got to deal with people like Hassan Campbell. Because he knows you're going to keep tuning in. They're going to shove it in your face and you can't resist. Got to listen to Hassan. Because he's going to say something that's worthwhile. What have you learned from him? Nothing. Did he t teach you any business ethics? Nope. Did he give you any investment stocks? Nope. Did he tell you anything that can help enrich your life? Nope. But he's entertaining, man. I'm loving how he be going in. But when you keep tearing down, but you never up building, never building up. Never saying, okay, let's tear this down, but we got to build up. Well, you're never a part of anything. Where's his charity foundations that, that he's a part of? Do he promotes those? What is he doing? Does he say? No, it's just more than nonsense, right? So I don't know who to blame. Him or you. Oh, that's going to be on HBO Max, huh? Cool. Nah, I didn't trip. I don't trip over, over lies, you know? When people come with lies and non-truths and half-truths, you know, guys don't really, guys don't really respond to that. Real people don't. Real people got too much stuff going on. Like me, I got real stuff going on right here. Right on this screen. My money. <laughs> Everybody does it for money, dog. Y'all oh, definitely subscribe to the page. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. I'm gonna go ahead and get through with my day. I just wanted to address the fact that I did get your message. Thank you. I saw your clips of the videos. Um, somebody just sent me something saying Duck Mama's response uh, to him. Hey, she shouldn't have to respond, you know. But these are the type of people that never come to Chicago, never see the conditions, never do nothing to try to help somebody in Chicago. So for him to go ahead and and put himself in that position to where somebody would have to feel a certain way, you know, it was like, all right, cool, we get it. You know, we get it. You want to get some money, but you put yourself in a position to where 
you're making more people dislike you. So you're going to become a recluse if you ain't already. And anytime you go somewhere, you're creating another situation with people you don't know. Now, if you want to continuously go down that road, that's you. But the disrespect and the ignorance that was displayed in the disrespect, that can't go unnoticed. So, in other words, shut down. That's what we need. Shut down. Well, you got to know there are certain things you get involved in. There are certain things you don't. But when you have no knowledge of the situation, you have no, you basically on the outside looking in as basically a conservative would look at making comments over things that don't affect him that he don't really care about. That's the only problem with conservatives, you know. Well, people got a decisions to, you know, they, it's like people have their own decision to make about how they're going to proceed in life, you know, and I don't, I'm supposed to end this video, so let me just go ahead and get out of here, but we'll talk about that later, probably on One Crack News or something, you know, but uh, other than that, you know, we just going to keep moving, keep doing the things that we do, and that'll be that. You know, so if you don't like Hassan Campbell, just stop watching his garbage. <laughs> you know, that's just how it works. I don't watch him. So if you didn't watch him, you would have never heard his nonsense. When he got back to his mom, all this nut, you know what I'm saying? So if you outraged, be outraged to the point where you do something about it. Deuces. Shouts out to at Kwame Brown Bus Life at Self Talk at Welcome to HD TV. Don't forget this is Carcino for Life. Don't forget to subscribe here and definitely hit the notification bell so you can get all notifications. And follow at Straight Talk TV. And we just going to keep it moving.